Your equalizer bars have arrived. You've assembled them, but now what? You know you wanna get started in calisthenics because it's gonna make you stronger. It's gonna give you more confidence in your body and you're gonna develop muscle size. Today I'm gonna to teach you the basics that you need to know in order to get better at calisthenic skills using your equalizer bars all at home. Shoulder positioning when performing calisthenics exercises is crucial to achieving the skill and developing strength. This applies to both pulling and pushing. A rule of thumb is you want to have space between your ear and your shoulder. So if you were to go to perform some dips and you find that you're all crunched up like this, see how my there's no space between my shoulders and my ears? You need to press down and you need to have this nice space. That would be referred to as depressed shoulders. So our shoulders are our most mobile joint in our body. They move in numerous ways. However, as a beginner, I just want you to focus on four of the ways today. So the four ways are up, which is elevate, down, which is depress. We also have protraction. Think about pulling your shoulder blades apart and retraction, pulling them together. So I'm not flaring my ribs, I'm moving from the shoulder. So protraction, retraction. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Summer or Summer Fun Fitness on YouTube or Instagram. I'm a self-taught calisthenics athlete. I share workouts, inspiration, and education. And I'm so happy to be here today helping you get started on your calisthenics journey using these wonderful equalizer bars, which I've had my own pair for going on four years now. So to begin a workout, we need to elevate our core temperature. And you might hate me for this, but come on, it's only a few minutes. What we need to do is a little bit of cardio. So an easy one to remember is set a timer for four minutes, perform some form of cardio exercise for say 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. A nice and easy exercise to get started would be jumping squats. You can do different variations depending on your level. First level would be find a bench or if you're taller than me, you can use your bars. Come down, jump up. Come down, jump up. Cardio is not my thing, but I still do it because it's definitely an important part of your health and getting everything ready for your workout. I also strongly encourage you to warm up your wrists. In the beginning, you will find, unless you've already strengthened your wrists quite a bit, that they'll get sore quite fast. To prevent this, we want to actually warm them up properly. I'm pretty advanced at calisthenics and I still spend at least five minutes warming up my wrists and my fingers before a workout. The first position that I want you to practice very frequently is a foundational movement for calisthenics and gymnastics, and it's called a support hold. So you're gonna come to your bars, and then you're gonna take your feet off the ground, depress your shoulders, slightly retract them so you squeeze them a bit together, and hold. So I'll demo what that looks like. Take your feet off, and you find you might sink down here. I want you to push down, depress, slightly rotate the elbows out, and core engaged. Whether you're here, fully down. What you wanna do is set a timer in front of you, get into your support hold really strong, and come down just shy of failure. Then repeat that time for at least three sets, if not four sets. Once you have become quite strong in that hold, you can begin to add in shoulder shrugs. I personally do some sort of shoulder shrugs whether it's in a pulling movement or a pushing movement, every single workout. So come to your bars again, use your core. You're not just loosey-goosey, your core's engaged. Press down nice and strong, hold for a second, and then slowly come down and back up. And down and back up. You might see people online doing them like this, but we're not getting the full of effect. You might wanna work up to say, 10 reps, three sets of those. The next thing that you have to incorporate in order to get good at calisthenics is to remember that we're training the full range of motion. This is as opposed to bodybuilding where you're only doing a very small range. For calisthenics, we wanna be focusing just as much on the top position as the middle position, as the bottom position, whether it's pull-ups and we're working on pulling up all the way to our chest or dips where we're actually trying to get below the bar. So for a bodybuilding dip, you might have been, you might have seen this half range. For calisthenics, we want to focus on the top position as well. The 
full range, even in push-ups, the full range. So come up to your support hold. See, there's lots of space by my ears. Come all the way down and all the way back up. Same with a push-up. So you might see some people doing push-ups like this. We are gonna go all the way down and all the way up, push out, protract the shoulders, push down, and all the way back down. We now know that we need to set our shoulder position and we need to work through the full range of motion. The next tip is that you want to be engaged from head to toe. So no matter what exercise position you're in, take a moment, find stillness and ask yourself, is my core engaged? Am I performing the full range of motion to my personal capacity? Or could I be pushing a little bit more or pulling a little bit more? And what are my toes doing? And this might seem silly, but I often ask myself, what are my toes doing? Are my toes pointed? And that's a way for me to connect all the way through from my head to my toe to be in total control. So say for your dips, you come in and you think, okay, could I have pushed a little bit higher? Could I have gotten higher in my set position? Okay, so that's check number one. And then from there, I'm gonna move down to my toes. So that means I'm gonna focus on my core next. What's my core doing? Is it engaged or is it hanging out and not doing anything? Okay, engage, glutes on fire. And then what are my toes doing? And then that way, even while I'm going through the position, I have more control now that I'm thinking of my entire body and how it relates to the exercise. So now that you've learned how to articulate your scaps and how to hold the position because you've practiced the support holds and the shrugs, now it's time to bring that scap stabilization into some movement. So for calisthenics, there's a few main lifts as you would call them. And these are the exercises that you're gonna focus on mastering. Push-ups, dips, pull-ups, core, and squats. So those are the five main lifts. So if you are ever in doubt of what to train today, think back to those five lifts and perform some variation of them so that we can get our bodies stronger. Let me walk you through the main lifts very quickly. If you find that you've been struggling with push-ups, it might mean that you haven't been stabilizing your scaps. So if you find that you're kind of like wonky, first, go into your plank, push down, set your scaps, hold them in place, and then perform the movement, remembering to just bend from the elbows. So it's not my head that's coming down, it's just bending through the elbows, keeping everything tight. So that would be a beginner option for a push-up. If you wanna see more variations of different calisthenics skills and how to move up a level, check out my YouTube channel, Summer Fun Fitness. Next on to your beginner level dip. Remembering that no matter what level we're at, we're gonna try and work on the full range of motion. As we get stronger, our range of motion is going to get greater, but that only happens by actually reaching your end and your top point, so then we can then expand it. So for a beginner dip, you might be performing it with your feet in front of you. All I want you to think about is keeping your elbow to your wrist in line. So you don't want them bending forward here or bending far back. Come forward, engage your core, bend from the elbows, keeping them in line, so just there, and pushing up. Come down. Remember, we get that top position as well. For our core, the equalizer bars are excellent. I actually keep mine right beside my desk. So if I need a little work break, I will come and do some core. Same position as our support hold. Grip the bar, get into your support hold. And this, you know what, for you might actually be enough. But if you wanted to expand upon it, tuck your knees up and, then, and again, push the bar away. Lots of space by your ear. And then from there, once you can hold this in stillness, you can extend or you can get up higher. For a beginner, I would focus on just holding some static holds as you build up that strength. Next onto squats, if you have a hip circle, this would be an excellent time to use them. I highly recommend literally every single person have a hip circle. If you don't have one, that's fine, but I would recommend getting one. So pushing your legs apart, nice and strong, core drawn in, come down, chest is up. I'm not using my neck to pull myself up. I'm using my legs, pushing nice and strong. And then of course, for calisthenics, one of the skills that you're probably familiar with is the pistol squat. You can use your bars to work on your pistol squat. What I would recommend is actually coming to this bottom position and holding it. And then you'll have to use the bars to bring yourself up, but it's always good to spend time holding in the most difficult position. You can also use your bars to do single leg squats just like this, as you get better, as long as you're focusing on your leg. As far as the pulling portion, you can work on holding at the very top position. So you can perform holds here, 
course you can use your feet as well, but a better place to start would actually be with some rows. So first things first, you guys know what I'm gonna say and it's going to be set your scabs. So if you come down to the bottom position, first thing, set your scabs. So again, I'm gonna pull down, I'm gonna retract, squeeze them together, and then from there, engage my core. I'm actually just pulling myself up. I'm not letting my scaps go. They remain in their position the whole time. And that, my friend, I think is an excellent place to wrap up. So now you know that you have to pay more attention to your shoulder position in all exercises, work on your full range of motion, connect from your head to your toe, and you also know the main lifts that you need to focus on to get good at calisthenics. Of course, I can't cover everything in a video, but I hope you guys found this beneficial. For more information, look out for upcoming videos. And if you wanna see some of my personalized content, again, I'm Summer Fun Fitness.